Do you lot remember when I said Faye was a bit of me? <laughs> I changed my mind. We're not the same. Hello everybody, welcome back to Taste of Reality. My name is Queenie for those who don't know me. <laughs> Bro. Love Island is a mess. Before I get into this review, mm, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. Man, Love Island USA should have just waited until UK was done so they could take some notes. Whew, let's get into it. What did Teddy do to piss off the producers? Because uh, clearly they have a vendetta against him and they just keep throwing him to the wolves. Take it easy. What's going on? It was though. It was though. Mr. Nice Guy, <laughs> Uncle Ted. <laughs> Faye is obviously the queen of sabotage. We know this, we've seen it time and time again. And here's another example. Did Telly, te Telly, did Teddy tell her the complete truth? Not necessarily, but I feel like the thing he left out was not that deep. It was, it's deep enough for her to be hurt about it, but it's not deep enough for you to be yelling, 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 yelling the entire night. Seriously, you're doing too much. She said her family was brutal and that Teddy is just too kind, he's too, he's just too soft for her family environment. And I'm not, I'm not trying to paint her as anything, but I do wonder if this is how she's acting in the presence of other people and on national television. Just saying. The Jake escape footage is what we have all been waiting for. Do you think it's all me? Yeah. Fuck me. Half. Fucking hell. Well, it's your words coming out of your mouth. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to say anything now. I'm, I'm, my blood's boiling now. I'm low-key kind of annoyed that everybody else was more irritated than Liberty herself. Granted, this was earlier on. Um, his whole comments about her physicality was earlier on. But I feel like the way that he goes about things is kind of like... I'm gonna save face to Liberty all the time and not completely be honest to her face. And I feel like that would piss me off, you know? Like one day you're telling people, you know, you don't find me physically attractive or whatever, but you can't keep your hands off of me. And then you're also saying, you know, y'all do what you want. Y'all are single, you know, like do whatever, do bits, blah, 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 blah. But then act like you're completely innocent and, you know, you were such an angel. Like something about that just sounds manipulative if you ask me. Later on in the episode, she's talk. She's trying to tell him, <laughs> honestly, I'm, I'm convinced. I'm just convinced that we are looking at a different liberty than Jake is looking at because she is so beautiful we call this out from day one liberty fans have been liberty fans since we first saw her this girl is stunning this girl is beautiful and it it irks my soul that somebody like jake is able to make her insecurities resurface fine as she is oh i know that i'm probably not like a supermodel or this or that and oh, that's what it always leads with my personality and stuff. So to hear you say, like, I don't want to rip her clothes off. I don't know if the attraction is 100%. Fucking hot. He was doing, he was, like, almost dismissing her insecurities, dismissing her feelings. Instead of saying um, things like, I definitely had a different perception coming into this house of what I wanted and what I was looking for. But in finding a connection with you, my attraction to you has grown. And I've learned that there is more to just this archetype that I have. Something. But he just kept saying, oh, you're my girlfriend. It's implied that I find you sexy. It's implied. That's not what she needed in that moment at all. And Chloe was making some good points. And I was like, dang, Chloe being insightful? What is going on? And then Toby was basically the voice of reason the entire episode. And I was like, wait, <laughs> what is happening? Like, I was so confused. I was like, is Toby, is Toby the one being insightful right now? Is Toby really the voice of reason? Is he growing? Dare I say, is Toby growing? No, no, because at every corner, men will embarrass you. So I, mm -mm, I'm not going to say that just yet. <sighs> so Faye, I, mm. <sighs> like I, 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 under, I understand the hurt. I understand feeling hoodwinked, bamboozled. The actions though are childish. 
they are childish. And and the house is getting tired of it. Teddy's getting tired of it. And it's not a good look. I'm going to speak. Problem. It's not our problem. It's a you problem because I have no I problems. Have problem. Everything shown on that fucking TV screen yeah. was I'd already told you. So I have no problems in this. I have a I, problem with you. I've got a problem with you, though. No, so it's a you problem. Obviously. She's not ready for a relationship. And I feel like right now, isn't she the oldest one in there? She's got a lot of inner work to do. Because if your first reaction at it's, it's signs of trouble is to blow everything up, that's dangerous. Because life isn't smooth sailing, you know? If it's not one thing, it's another. If it's not finances, it's, you know, relational stuff. It's, ex like, fam family stuff. It's work. It's social life. Like, there's so many roadblocks that happen in life. And if this is your reaction to something as minuscule as him finding another woman attractive, which everybody finds other people attractive every single day, this is very concerning. And honestly, 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 I feel like the girls are doing her a disservice by letting her act like this time and time again, you know? Acknowledge that her feelings are valid because they are. Acknowledge that she has the right to not want to communicate with Teddy right now because that is her right. Those are her feelings. She wants to guard and protect her heart. Cool. But this constant, like, trying to find issues and then making them bigger than they are is going to end up hurting her more than the way that she's been hurting herself, like, looking for problems. Because you're not going to be able to reason with people. You're not going to be able to have adult conversations to properly hear somebody out in an argument. Not even argument, in just disagreements. You know what I mean? And, like, <laughs> it's it's just so sad to see because Faye has this... In my opinion, I know people don't agree, but in my opinion, she has an electric personality. She can be warm. She can be loving. She definitely assumes a mother role sometimes. But when Ish hits the fan in her life, it's, oh, mm -mm, well, it's over. Just like that, everything is... Uh, and she has to, like, be below the belt, flipping him off. You can sit on my middle finger. Why? For the show, this was the energy I needed. Don't get me wrong. It, it was a little much. It was They dragged it on a little bit. But it was like, yes, give me fire. Give me drama. But when I'm thinking of Faye the person, Faye the individual who's going to live a life post Love Island, you're, you're, you're running the risk of perpetually being alone, not just in singleness, but just in life, because nobody wants to deal with this behavior. Nobody wants to have to worry about how is Faye going to react to this situation. It, it's, it's a daunting thing for anyone. I literally said yesterday that they're waiting an inevitable end, and here it is. Regardless of what, what was shown, what was said, I, I know my worth, and for me, this is, this is done. Okay, here you go. I hope that one day Faye can look back at this experience and realize maybe that her conflict resolution skills need some tuning. That um, in life, there's always going to be something better, something stronger, something, you know, more enticing when it comes to relationships, romance, anything like that. However, it's up to you to believe your partner when they reassure you, like, in in um, words and in actions. I mean, the same thing happened to her. She found other people attractive and she didn't act on it until she saw Teddy do something, right? But that doesn't nullify the fact that you found other people attractive. And Teddy's saying the same thing, you know what I mean? So it would be in her best interest to... And this is not even me imposing this on her. It, listen, it, she could do whatever she wants to do. That is Faye's life and she could live it how she wants to live it. But to constantly be like, and this is why I don't want to be somebody's girlfriend. You will always find a reason not to be somebody's girlfriend. You'll always find a reason not to accept love in your life. And if that's what you're going to do constantly, that will be the result. You will never be someone's girlfriend. You'll never find love in your life. So, I mean, come on, girl. Some people might feel like I'm too forgiving when it comes to her, but literally she's me. <laughs> I know I just said I'm not her, but she is me. I just want to react the way that she did. But the sentiment is the same. It's so hard to give yourself to somebody because we all fear heartbreak. We all fear it. Just it's how you go about it. Okay? It's it's how you go about it. <sighs>
that is it for this week. How many weeks are left? Uh, please just make it like one or two. Because, yeah, the drama's picking up, but like, it, it's enough. You know, like the, the show, we can we can end things now. Um, Sunday night is the result of the vote and we'll see who will get dumped. And, and I think, I think yeah, it, it's really looking like it's coming to the end. Who's going to win? Shoot, if it's not Kaz then I don't care. <laughs> if it's not guys, I don't really care to be honest with you, but I will still watch to see what the results are. You guys have a great weekend and until Sunday, like, comment, share, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.